at the Culver City Mall, or at least that's where we're starting. Just check out Foot Locker, you guys will see what's in there. We're going to head over here to JD Sports. I just want to say what's up to everybody. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, give me all the feedback. Green one is marked down to 105. I don't know if these were $80 last time, but they are now. 85 on these, 95 on the Dunk Panda High. Very solid colorway on these Nike Dunk Lows right here. Ladies and gentlemen watching, let me know if you like this color. I think this is a new price movement here at 170 as opposed to 225 Yeah, clean right here. What do you guys think about these? The Jordan 1 Little Mochas here. Good amount of sizes left, size 8 in hand. Are you guys scooping this up or is this like an easy pass for you? Normally 99 bucks down to $70. Same thing with this colorway too. Normally $99 down to $70. Look at the colorway here on this Samba. I like these for sure. That gray color tone is fire. 110 on the retail. Not a bad colorway at all on these Sambas. Let me know if you guys are feeling them or not in the comments. First time seeing this black colorway as well. Materials look clean on here for sure. 110 on the retail. It look good on shelves, man. Midnight Navy Jordan 1s along with everything else here on the wall that we all are seeing. Uh, shadows, good amount of selection here. Of course, they have the Mocha ones still here, chilling out. Are you guys scooping those up or passing? But this selection here is definitely very, very solid. Besides this right here, the Air Max 90 Reverse Duck Camo has now restocked at uh, even Nikes, you know? Let me know your thoughts about this colorway and if you guys added these to your collection. Got a full detail review coming on this shoe right here. Not mad at these at all. Definitely like this color combination on the Air Max Plus. That black and blue is interesting. Nike Air DT Max. The ladies, they do have a new colorway on this Nike Dunk Low right here. Not mad at this color combination. Materials on here look pretty solid as well. Let me know if there's something that you're interested in. 125 on a retail freeze. They also have the Nike Air Force One Low in that same colorway for the women. Color combination definitely on point. Materials is definitely nice here too. Suede, leather, got the uh, gum also. also. Kobe merch here too, including the shirts. This hoodie right here is actually pretty dope too. The all white hoodie, not a bad situation for sure. Shoe that we have yet to talk about at the crib, the Nike Zoom Freak. What, six they're on right now? Nike Giannis Freak, six. GT Cut 3, Safari, definitely a fire colorway on these. Got the Kobe Girl Dads here, 190 on the retail for these. Definitely not mad at them at all. Kobe Girl Dads on deck for those of you guys who missed out, 190 on the retail. Got the Kobe 9 Low Halos, not bad. Definitely clean for sure. They got the white colorway on the uh, TV that recently dropped. The, uh, the gray one as well the red one and the navy blue one which we scooped up last time varsity red and white can't go wrong with these at all man let me know your thoughts about them and they also got the venice beaches on deck here too i don't know if they restocked them or not maybe so definitely a clean colorway for sure basketball section more heat over here lebron's a lot of shoes that we have already seen before uh let me know if there's anything here that stands out to you these LeBron NXTs are pretty solid too. They have a mismatch situation going on when it comes to the other shoe. Not mad at the material on those at all. Once again, definitely a fire shoe right here. Jordan 1 Low, Jordan 9 Low Golf with the Stitching 23. Talked about this before. Such a disappointment that the uh, reg regular pair didn't have the Stitching 23. Nonetheless, the, uh, the Golf one does. Says sale price, but still have them at 130. Did they come out at 140 or something like that? Definitely one of the best colorways of the jar one for sure. New York versus New York. Full detail review on the channel as well. Shoe Palace. Very solid selection here of retros that you guys can see. This, bro. Come on now. Somebody return these? It's a size 13. These real? What the hell is going on here? University Toe size 13, my size at the store. Too bad I already have a pair. That's very interesting to see that there for sure. The Kobe 9 Low, the Elite Low, still here available in store. Was expecting to see this. Of course, they have this colorway on the Air Force One Low. Not a bad color combination. Let me know if you guys like these. Materials look pretty solid. First time seeing this colorway, I think. Maroon and white. Not mad at these at all. Let me know if you like this color combination. Definitely pretty solid. And that colorway is not too bad either, which we saw in the last video. 
Look at that Adidas selection right here. Pretty nice. You got the AE Georgia Bulldogs, AE1 Low Lime or Slime Green in that colorway also. New color combination on the Jordan 1 Mid. Black, white with that dark, dark gray like charcoal gray. Not matter these Jordan 1 Mids. Let me know if this is a colorway that you can see yourself adding to your sneaker collection. Yeah. So this is uh, something I had to stop by and get, man. At this pizzeria. I've been here for a long time on Hollywood Boulevard, and uh, I was just a little hungry, so I was like, let me go ahead and grab me a slice. You see how big it is? It takes up two plates. Put enough Parmesan cheese on there. Maybe I should put up a little bit more. $10 for one slice, but it's kind of worth it, though. I'm not going to lie. This hat is kind of dope. Throws me back a little bit. I like that. 35 bucks on this USA basketball hat. So they got the Georgetown Terminator low now too. 120 on the retail. Two solid colorways. The, the Georgetown colorway and you got the Mocha colorway on these Terminator lows right here. Priced at 120 bucks. Some newer colorways. Okay, okay. So that I see what they're trying to do here. Is this something that you guys would add to the collection? Let me know your thoughts. So we saw the Air Force One with this print. Now they got it on the Nike Dunk Low as well. Let me know if you guys like this color combination. Give me like a superhero type vibe clean colorway got the perforation all over the shoe give me your thoughts about those i also have those weak ones that we've seen before along with those and those never have i ever seen these rivalry lows these are nade shot right here pretty clean detail material on here is definitely very solid let me know if you guys like this colorway right here 140 on the retail definitely clean i also have some bad bunnies here in smaller sizes but at least i have them on deck Benito. Mocha, Jordan 1 Low OGs, as well as the shadows here. Definitely a solid selection here of shoes that we all see before. Have to come in each store and see what's here. Dang, those are just popping off the screen. We definitely seen, no, maybe we haven't seen these before, but this colorway is eye catching, eye popping. This red, white, and blue cell midsole, definitely impressive in my opinion. Pretty much a Jordan 1 low, so nobody was gonna, really gonna care. Maybe they're going to sell soon, but these are not bad at all. That colorway is nice. So, this is the only thing they had. I guess the SBI can for is gone. This colorway is pretty dope, too, though. Let me know your thoughts about these. Kind of give me like a Sean Weatherspoon vibe almost. And materials on these are definitely clean. Let me know your thoughts about them in the comments. These are not too bad either. It's a pretty dope colorway for sure. I've seen this one so many times, I forgot the actual name of it. Not a bad colorway though at all. Look at this blue corduroy Dodger hat. That looks pretty dope for sure. But well, we came, we saw, and we conquered, y'all. We got the new shoe palace open. Let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what it looks like. Definitely nice. Not exactly sure when it opened up, but it looks beautiful, man. Let's go ahead and see if we can find something in there worthwhile. This thing looks crazy. Wow, I'm impressed by what I'm seeing here. This is fire. The setup here is amazing. Chop it up a little bit because the music in the background like a beautiful store, man. Let's go ahead and see what they got here on deck. Jordan merchandise, of course. Some of the same things we've seen. Now, it did just recently open, so maybe there might be some releases we haven't seen in a little while. Or maybe not. Got the greatest flying on everybody, along with all the display of his shoe from his lineage. This is a dope setup right here, bro. 1 to 10, definitely a 10. I'm not mad at whatever I'm seeing here. Even though there's shoes that we have seen plenty of, but there's a couple new ones. Let me dump into it. Newer colorway on the Hydro size. Black or white with the gold. Jordan 1 Low OGs. Jordan 1, Jordan 6s. Just so you know, things are on sale. They just don't have a sales tag. They don't want to have that there, but these things are still on sale. Yet another dope colorway of the uh, Jordan Spizak right here. First time seeing this colorway. Or these materials on here. Canvas? Oh, these are not bad. 160 on the retail. Let me know what you guys think about these specs, man. These are not bad in my opinion. Pretty clean for sure. They do actually have some things that have sales tags on them, but there's still some that don't have sales tags. Everything else here, for the most part, we have seen. Let's see if any of these prices are different. 129 on those, 130. Jordan 6 is Jordan 1's on sale. Everything else here you see. These are on sale, but still marked at 130. Definitely a fire colorway on these Jordan 12s right here. Women's exclusive colorway with some good materials. 
120 on these Jordan 6s and then they got those for 99. Got the, like this newer tone on this Samba for the ladies. Not sure if anybody liking like this colorway. It's kind of different though. Nice display over here, very bright. You gotta look up a little high, but nonetheless, there's some dope stuff here for sure. 530s, gazelles, a whole bunch of dunks that we have seen before. All the basketball stuff over here, right? And we got all the classics at the top. Diamond turfs, all three colorways, pennies, and you got the more up-tempos right there too. Bookers, a lot of good things here. Marked down two Air Force Ones and dunks for the men. Might be the first time I've seen these marked down at 89 bucks. Not mad at these at all. Definitely a solid, solid colorway on this Nike Dunk Low. All it down at 89 bucks here too. So they still got some of the same markdowns, which is good to see. Even have these at 89 bucks here too as well. Book one Python, man. What are we doing with this, bro? Definitely a clean looking shoe. 150 on the retail. So it's priced up a little higher than the other ones. But this colorway is definitely not mad at. Give me your thoughts about them. And they do got the KD Weathermans here on deck too, just in case you guys are looking for them. I don't know if they restocked, but this is size 10 right here. And of course they got the beautiful. <laughs> The beautiful foam pilot right here, man. That blue is just crazy. We got these here on deck two. More recent release of these Nike Dunk Lows. They do have them here at this location. And along with these Air Force Ones and the other colorways that we saw at the last location. Then we got more Dunks over here, including the most recent release. I think we first saw these at Shoe Palace uh, Meros. Definitely a clean colorway on these for sure. Amongst everything else here, definitely a solid lineup. Now back to where we kind of started at, but on the other side. JD got this new colorway of the Jordan 1 Low right here. Not a bad color combination for the ladies out there. $115 on the retail. These right here we've seen before too. Not a bad color combination. Materials on here, pretty solid. Women's exclusive Jordan 1 Mid. Actually, these are on sale for $115 now. They just keep chopping them down. $115 now. $150 at this location for the black and gold. And then $125 at this one. Midnight Navy Jordan 1 still here available for sure. First time seeing these, I thought they were like grade school or women's exclusive, but they are men's sizes as well. Let me know if you guys like this colorway right here. Not mad at them. They also have this gray one here that's not too bad either. Still full retail. Really good material on these for sure. However, they do have these. The most recent colorway of the Jordan Spizike. Posted these. A lot of people did like them. Let me know your thoughts about these, of course, in the comment section below. Curry for 85 bucks. Normally 160 down to 85 bucks. That's definitely clean right there on the markdown. So we got like this women's exclusive colorway on the Sambas here. JD Sports Global exclusive. Not mad at this color tone at all. New Balance 550s with the suede and denim on here. This is definitely a clean color combination. Wish there was a little bit more denim on here though. 120 on the retail for these. Then this pink colorway, of course, for the women too. Same price point. Not mad at these, but I definitely think I like the denim one just a little bit more. Solid colorway on this Nike Dunk Low here. Like the materials and the colorway is on point too. Still for retail. Won't be on sale anytime soon, I don't think. So they do have them at this location. Only the second location for me to find these. I have mine on feet right now. Adidas Crazy 8 Low. Definitely a slept on shoe. A super banger in my opinion, and they feel good on feet. We got a Harden Volume 8 here. First time actually seeing this colorway in hand. I don't know when he's actually released. I feel like somebody might have returned this. Nonetheless, this is not a bad colorway. Haven't reviewed a Harden 8 on the videos yet. Maybe we'll go ahead and grab this up. I don't need one for basketball, but I do want to talk about this shoe, comparing them to like the 7s and stuff like that. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. Price is 160 which I think is kind of wild though. Then they got the AEs and the Georgia Bulldog colorway, as well as the Slime Green. Also got a review on my channel for that, too. A lot of dope stuff here, but we've seen it at every other place. And they got these here for 69 bucks. The Crazy 8, normally 140 But I find my, I don't know, we might have to scoop these up regardless, nine and a half. This is actually the only location I've seen with this purple colorway on the 998, man. This colorway is crazy. The materials look good on here, too. Surprised people ain't scooped these up. Let me know your thoughts about these in the comments. Just got my first recent pair of New Balances. What are these going for? 210, that's why they're sitting here. This blue colorway on the 480, to me, is pretty solid. Let me know if you guys like this one. Newest colorway, I don't know if it's a women's exclusive colorway. I've only seen it in smaller sizing of the 9060. Definitely a solid one for sure. Got a new colorway on the Air Max 90 from Jora. Not mad at these. The material looks pretty solid too. 150 on the retail. Somebody left the box here. What's inside? Okay, those. Their basketball section is kind of mediocre. I mean, it's cool. It's better than Topanga's. They have a little bit more of a selection than Topanga does. Just came back to see if they had anything else here. You always got to double check the stores. And so far, 
it's pretty much the same stuff we just had a few seconds ago. We do got some markdowns as you guys can see, but nothing really worth grabbing or taking home. Nonetheless, still pretty cool here. Diamond Turfs, the reverse. Then you got the uh, more up tempos for 155. Katie's down to 110. Booker's down to 100 bucks. So there's some markdowns here. Reverse scratches at 105. They got these down to 125 bucks. And they got these down to only 115 bucks. 105 on these new balances, man. They're getting closer and closer. We're getting to like $79. I have to scoop up these. I like this green colorway. It's like a dark forest green on the 574, only $90 on the retail. Definitely a clean colorway for sure. Okay. We got a newer color combination on this Pegasus 2K5. This right here is definitely not bad. 150 on the retail. A lot of the older school shoes coming back, man. These are pretty sick. Yet another colorway of the Nike Vermeero 5. Nike Zoom Vermeero 5. I think these are pretty solid for sure. These are marked down to 100 bucks from 100 or from 185 down to 100. Definitely a nice markdown. A healthy markdown. Got the weak colorway on the Air Max 90. Those of you guys who know about music. What is this song in the background? I forget. Definitely a clean shoe though on the Air Max 90 for sure. I forgot who this is in the background. Comment down below for me. Air Max 95. Definitely a clean colorway on these two for sure. Give me your thoughts about these. Very solid colorway on the Air Max DN. Already marked down to a 130 from 160. That blue really pops. Put some blue laces in there. But this Vince Carter T, I like a little bit more. It is a Mitchell and ST too. I think that's a big difference. $45 on it though. But big shout out to Vince Carter as he's on the cover, the legend cover for NBA 2K25, which I think I might be copping. I haven't picked it up yet. Then they got this Irishman one here too. I think the Irison one's dope, so I think it's like probably Irison, Vince Carter, then maybe Lil Wayne if it goes by the orders of the shirts that I want. We got the young Irison right here, that's a dope graphic tee. Even got this Mitchell and Ness uh, Devin Booker shirt on sale for $20. Normally $45 down to $20, he's a gold medalist. I want to scoop up this shirt, I like the graphic on that, look at that. Yeah, that graphic is actually pretty dope. I always gotta double check Adidas when I'm buying one to see if they got some basketball shoes. Once again, they do not, but I gotta check it out to see. New arrival. I like these Predators right here, pretty clean. I guess they existed since 1994. $95, or was that? 85 bucks on these, definitely a clean shoe. Sheik's always on point with their selection here. A lot of dope stuff here in case you were looking for anything. Some of the same things that we've seen at previous locations. Nonetheless, Sheik always has great deals and just colorways we might not have seen that often. They too got the satin breads on deck for 99 bucks as we've seen out there in Northridge. Got these women's exclusive Jordan 1 Miz here too. And we definitely don't see this red colorway at too many locations. Red with the gold accents, definitely clean. Black and gold one as well. Very much so a fan of the oxidized green Jordan 1 Low women's exclusive Jordan 1 Low OG. And these right here are definitely clean too. This Puma, I like the color combination on these. Give me your thoughts about them. And these right here are very solid as well too. Retailing these is 85 bucks. Colorway is crazy. The materials are definitely on point too. We bought classic colorway for the 50th. I like that. These are pretty dope too. Classic leather Reebok. 59 bucks on these. Definitely fire for sure. Got the blast Timberlands down there too. These are pretty nice looking. What are these actually here? Temper Run too. Definitely clean for sure. Hey, I like these for sure. These are pretty nice. They got the AEs on sale. First time ever seeing that. Oh no, they're always 120, my bad. Still full retail on these, Yeezys 350s. You can always count on Chic to have a colorway you don't see other places. Let me know your thoughts about this colorway on the New Balance 2002R. Definitely fire right here. One in 10 scale, probably like a 10 for sure. First time seeing these for the ladies. Different from that pink one. It's like a... I don't even know. The colors is bright as hell, but they're nice. Puma suede's here for the ladies. Pink with the brown, 65 bucks on the retail. Always something different. Never really seen these Reebok Classics before. Definitely a clean all leather upper for sure. Definitely my first time seeing this colorway in this newer Nike silhouette. This is not an oldie coming back, is it? I think this is like something new. I could be mistaken though. Colorway is nice, 110 on the retail for these. And this Gazelle is pretty solid too. Let me know your thoughts about these. Can we the focus on there? The focus? I haven't yet seen this colorway on a New Balance 2002R. It's like a different tone of gray. 
They got a million and one colorways of the 2002 R's, and I'm not mad at it. The colorways are definitely dope, and it's a comfortable shoe. At some point, we will own some of these. And I like this colorway right here on this 480. Haven't seen this just yet. Good materials, nice colorway. This Reebok colorway is definitely pretty solid. Look at the materials, man. I, there's so many more options out there besides just Nikes and just Adidas. That's why I try to show it. There's just so many things out here with good materials that look really good. Even the hemp Pumas right there are definitely solid too. The Asics over here, Reeboks. Definitely a solid selection of stuff. First time actually catching this blue colorway. Definitely a nice color combination for sure. Let me know if you guys like these, the color combination, the materials are definitely on point. I'm actually seeing this colorway on the 1906R, black, navy blue. I like this color combination for sure. Still full retail at 155, but that's a nice color combination on those. And of course, you guys see me wear those a bunch of times. The neon lights still here are available. So this is 530. They got this new colorway of the New Balance 530 for ladies. Like a winter, fall, winter vibe. I think this one's pretty solid, man. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Maybe rate it from like a one to 10, but I think this colorway is definitely pretty fire. Man. So yeah, man, here in Foot Locker, we've seen two pair of the Adidas Crazy 8s. You guys already know, we got these on feet right now, the Adidas Crazy 8 Low. I thought about picking this up for content purposes, but at the same time, I'm good. You guys have seen the Harden 8s. Maybe if there's like a new colorway that come out that I really like, I will go ahead and do my review. So I want to compare these to the Harden Volume 7s, but at some point we will get to that. So here we go. This crazy 8, the classic right here. This thing looks beautiful. Just like I remember them. We got a 12 and a 13, one for myself. Of course, one for somebody else, you know how we do. If you need help grabbing shoes, go ahead and join my membership on Instagram or YouTube or my Discord. And I can get shoes that you guys see in my videos just like this. That's how we make it happen. Back at Drip, definitely a light, a solid lineup here for the grade school in case you guys are looking for some stuff here. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, Jordan 1s, Lowe's, a lot of things marked down on sale too, which is a really good thing about it grade school stuff that you might not see in other places like these brazil fives right that just, just, just no not brazil fives but they remind me of that you know what i mean converse is definitely on point all the different colorways different models that they have high grade regular grade like these are crazy i don't know if i would ever get them for myself but this colorway on here is definitely solid for sure sliding on over here some more air max ones Foam pilots, metallic red foam pilots, man. These are definitely fire for sure. Never seen these Converse before. Retail price on these is 150. Only a few sizes left on them. Very nice colorway on these Vapor Max Pluses here for sure. I like what I'm seeing. These Air Max 186, 20% off on those. The Corduroy Air Max ones here too. These are definitely nice. Cortex Air Max 90s. We got these right here too. I think these are definitely pretty clean. I like the material on these Air Max 95 for sure. Still full retail though. Newer Air Max one that I haven't seen in the stores just yet. Pretty clean colorway. Air Max ones, P6000. They do have this colorway on the Penguin still here available. Not a bad color combination for sure on these Air Max ones. Very solid colorway on these for sure. Only a few sizes left here at Drip. Definitely clean on these for sure too. Nike LD Waffle, the black colorway. 100 bucks on these. I got a size eight in hand. I don't know if they have any other sizes left. Air Max DN, the white with the cream. Air Force ones right here. Definitely some solid, really nice plush leather on the upper, 20% off on these. Air Max 2013s, Air Force ones. Definitely a very solid colorway on the Air Max 90s for sure. I'm getting you ready for Halloween once again. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. Retail on these is 150 bucks. I like the material on these for sure. Yep. Here's the white and blue colorway with that same very, very plush leather on these. You can never go wrong with these at all. Chocolate brown with the white on the Air Force Ones. Not mad at these either. They still have these. Most places you don't see these still in store. 125 on those for sure. A lot of colorways of the Dunk Lows here that you would be interested in for sure. Including these, I do like this colorway. Only a few sizes left here too on this burgundy one. Definitely nice for sure. Long hair suede on these dunks. Air Force ones over there. Very, very solid selection here too. A lot of people like these too. Only a few sizes left for sure. 125 on a retail for these dunk lows. A lot of these shoes we have seen in other places and some we haven't. So if there's anything here, go ahead and pause it. 
Give me your thoughts about this leather with the, uh, I guess that's like canvas material on these. Very solid colorway on these Nike Dunk Low for sure. You don't see these too many places either, either. Like the great colorway here for sure too on these Nike Dunk Lows. Not a lot of lace locations have these out on the stores, man. These are definitely clean on these Jordan 3s. They also got the denims here available. With a lot of selections here when it comes to the Adidas stuff also. J Balvin's, Yeezy's here too. And just a bunch of other casual shoes that you might be interested in. Not sure when these came out, but this colorway is definitely pretty solid too for the ladies. Smaller sizes on these. Priced at 135 bucks. Some of the same shoes we saw last time we were here, so if you're interested, just go ahead and either pause it or go back to my other trip to Drip LA. I definitely don't want to revisit the same things over and over again for y'all. What do you think about this colorway on the 990s? Definitely fire for sure. Not mad at these. Give me your thoughts about them in the comments. Something you guys can add to your collection, or is it something you want to pass on? Not sure if we've seen this colorway on the 2002 arm. Pretty solid though. Let me know if you guys like this colorway. Seems like there's a million and one colorways of this shoe. These Puma Kleins right here, definitely nice. Really good materials. Colorway's not bad either. This maroon colorway is also definitely solid for sure. On these, retail is only 85 bucks, but I guess they only have an eight and a half left in this. So, look at these shorts right here. These ice cream shorts is crazy. Shirt right there that matches too. These are crazy though, these right here. They got the same type of material right here on the jeans for BBC, also crazy. Let's go check out the sales section, see what's over there. What do you think about this hat right here? Definitely kind of different, but dope. That one's fire too, and then I guess this goes with the outfit that we just saw a, little, a second ago. Never seen these before, these are definitely different. These embellished, these embellished jeans right here, bro. They're calling me, man. At one point, at one point we're gonna rock with those. That's not even bad for these type of jeans. The material and everything on here is definitely on point. The shirts are definitely tight too. Let me know what you guys think about this stuff right here. For the women, they definitely got a nice lineup right here too. Romero 5s, Air Max 90s, Air Forces. The whole display right here is dope. And I like that blue tone on here. It goes with both of these Jordans, especially the Olympics right there. All this Nike stuff is dope here. And they got some 4s for the women too. Industrial blue, right? Oxidized green, still available here. Only size five left, 160 on those. Definitely clean for all three of those. More stuff down here for the ladies. A lot of things marked down heavily as well too. Definitely a clean colorway right here for the ladies. White, pink, you got the muslin midsole. That's definitely muslin and not sale. You guys can definitely see the difference in the midsole. In hands, muslin mid. And that's a sell mid, so oxidized green Jordan 1 lows. Nice selection here as well. These are definitely not bad. I like the texture on them. The colorway is dope, especially for women, ladies and gentlemen watching this. Let me know your thoughts about these. And I'm not gonna lie, this is like the first time seeing the keychain on this in hand. I like the colorway on that too. I'm not mad at these first in flight. Definitely clean selection here, more for the ladies. If there's anything in here that you like, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I think this colorway is definitely impressive. Yeah, I think these are pretty soap. I'm not mad at these either. 20% off on them. Definitely nice selection right here too. And the cut. We don't see this too many off too often. Maybe they sold out or something like that, but I don't see these too often at all. Some pretty interesting blazers here, including these. I like the colorway, I like the waffle style swoosh. Good materials for sure, 115 on a retail for these. These colorways are also pretty solid too, and then look at the Cortez. Definitely nice right here. Very nice colorway on these Cortezes for sure. Only a few sizes left on this Big Bang LeBron right here. They still got these on deck. Definitely a clean shoe. Classic shoe for sure. Normally 240, take 40% off of that. Down to 144 on those for sure. Still got the wash of throne LeBrons here. Can never go wrong with these for sure. Definitely a fire shoe. Got some sizes available too. Not mad at these. And they got the Liverpools. Marked down 50% off. We scooped these up for somebody before. Clean, clean shoe right here. Did y'all pass on these or what? 
these are pretty nice too. 160 for the green embellish. These are solid right there. I like those for sure. These right here are also pretty dope too. I definitely like that green one a little bit more. But Drip LA definitely got the drip for you. Just depending on what you're looking for. And this plain shirt is dope too. These embellished jeans are definitely nice as well. I'm not sure, man. But embellished is definitely doing their thing when it comes to the denim. Plains hats. They also got the Bo Jacksons here. Very dope as well. Then we have the uh, mocha colorway on these Terminators. 120 on the retail. I do not see these sticking around too much longer. I think people will start scooping these up. Especially this weekend when the mocha ones come out. I think people will be trying to scoop these up too. First time seeing the Puma MBO3 low in this red colorway. Not mad at these at all. I like that blue colorway we saw in previous videos a little bit more, but this one's not too bad. Rate this from a one to 10. This is something you can consider adding to your collection. It's like a maroon and red together. But then we got these on deck too, the MBO4. It's got a full detail review on my channel. Not a bad shoe. Definitely recommend going up at least a half a size on these. One of the latest colorways of the Tatum 2. Not bad at these. So they got these on deck here too. More locations starting to pull out with this colorway on the Jordan 1 Low. I like this colorway for sure. New colorway of the Jordan 4 RM. Let me know if you guys are feeling this one or not. Definitely a newer colorway. My first time seeing it. Got the really good material up there. You got the new bug. You got the leather. Colorway's not bad either. 150 on a retail for these. Is this something that you guys are scooping up or passing on? I do like the outsole, of course. Air Jordan 4 RM. Not a bad shoe right here. And of course, they too have the Midnight Navies. Up over at uh, Shoe Palace in Northridge Mall. They got these here marked down to 150. Definitely a solid Jordan 6 for sure here. $150 on the retail. Still got these here for 80 bucks. Plenty of other shoes marked down, but we definitely seen it all before, you dig? Don't know if I've seen the P6000 down to $89 before, but that's definitely a good sign for sure. Shoe Palace still got these fours on deck, lattes, ones, a lot of things we have seen before, of course. Newer colorways of these popping up too. Sometimes I think we see new sizes and new colorways, but then it's just the same colorway. <laughs> Not bad though. These New Balance are pretty cool. Like a leather on leather. Triple black with the uh, little trim around the end. That's pretty dope. They got the same one on a sale colorway of the 574 New Balance. Look at these hats right here. You got the Denim Bulls hat. You got the Corduroy Bulls hat right here. That's clean. Both of those are solid. San Francisco is cool too. But I do like these Bulls hats right here. And I'm not going to lie, both of these are definitely pretty solid to the LA and New York. These right here, these 480s got some nice, nice materials. 480, 303, 130 on the retail. This must be a collab. Yeah, this is clean. New Balance Skate, Jeremy Fish X303. Earlier we saw the other colorway. One or two more colorways have been pushed out. Good amount of colorways for the MBO three low let me know if you like this colorway or if you have a favorite meanwhile in the background we got a triple white mbo3 low also they got the new triple black immortality four triple black colorway no color on here at all just triple black not mad at these give me your thoughts about these in the comments they still have that colorway of the new balance Kawhi four that i haven't seen anywhere else not a bad colorway Translucent or partial translucent outsole on these. Let me know if you like them or not. Probably the first or second best colorway of the Puma Scoot Zero right here. I think the first colorway that I like more is the one behind it, that black, white, red one. But this one right here is very loud and vibrant. Let me know if you would add this to your collection. I like this colorway on this New Balance 880. It looks like it could be very, very comfortable right here. 139 on the retail. Very breathable, very, very light shoe, and I'm mad at this colorway. I always expect there to be a colorway I haven't seen yet here at JD Sports. These are definitely not bad. Air Max DN, let me know if this is a colorway that stands out to you or easy to pass on. Not mad at the Air Max DN, this colorway is kind of different. So we got KD's down to 110, 
Bread Colorway is still at full retail, maybe because it's not at many locations right now. D Books marked down to 115. This gray school dunk is something that I am a fan of. Gray school sizing, nice colorway for sure. Air Max ones for the ladies in this Vogue Green colorway, definitely pretty solid. We seen these before at Chic. Just showing them again in case you guys missed it before. This like mocha brown and chocolate brown colorway on the Cortez for the ladies is definitely fairly solid as well too. 90 bucks in the retail. I like that colorway. That orange or yellow colorway is pretty decent. Lattes on sale for 160. Off Mueller Jordan 3s down to 170. That's actually a good markdown for these for sure. Those for 99. I think these still are popping at full retail 135, but you don't see this at any other location. I went to a lot of spots that don't see the red colorway for sure. And they also got these here too, Jordan 1 Low UNCs. These over here down to 179. Solid selection here for sure. 99 for the satin breads. Women's exclusive WNBA release marked down to 130 bucks. Solid colorway, very new, also marked down to $99. Those mids are 69 bucks. The navy blue on these shorts is dope. You got the Jordan logo here. You got the ones with the Nike swoosh there too. They also got some graphic tees here too that you can see what that is right there. First time ever seeing these Jordan 1 lows. If this is your first time ever seeing this colorway as well, make sure you hit that like button for your boy. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, man. This is not a bad colorway at all. And this is the point of going to a lot of stores often just to find the new shoes and new colorways right when they come out to give you the option to see if you want them. I do also post links in the videos for shoes that you might see. So if there's something that you do like here, just check the listing of the products listed and there might be something here in the store priced at the same or maybe a little higher. Pretty much all their dunks are 99 bucks right here. That's actually great to see. These are down to 89 bucks. These are also $89 as well. Now this is really nice man, the uh, panda with the suede on here, marked down to $99 as well. This is a popular colorway that's moving a lot, so that's why this is still full retail, not mad at that at all, very nice colorway. This selection of shoes is definitely on fire, you got LeBron's for $99, $150, very nice selection here for sure. I didn't think this would happen, but it's not surprising, $99 on the shop colorway of the LeBron 21. That colorway is down to 159 and this is 149 Does that mean that people haven't been scooping this up? If we get this to 99 bucks or 89 I'm scooping. 119 on this colorway, one of the best colorways for sure. Barley Grape Booker is down to 120 However, the newly released Python still marked the full 150 price point, which I'm not mad at. This like sail and navy colorway is definitely fire, marked down to 110 bucks. Really good leather quality on these. Don't sleep on these for sure. And probably one of the best KD17 colorways made so far, in my opinion. Let me know if you guys like these or not. 150 on the retail still. Man, they still have these, of course. Definitely a nice colorway for sure on these pennies for sure. Not mad at them. And this lineup right here is definitely impressive right here for sure. Puma suede, Marvel right here, Spider Man, Miles Morales in there, $90 on these. White outsole materials is not bad too. That black and red is pretty fire. So they got a few colorways of LaMelo's lifestyle shoe here. But there's a new colorway out that pretty much goes along with that MBO 4 that's out here too. I don't see it in this location, but uh they got the casual shoes here. Let me know if you guys let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. Have you tried them out? Maybe at one point we gotta see. They feel like they're really heavy, but I know the Balenciaga shoes is pretty much the same. Let me know your thoughts about these in the comments below. Toe box is kind of crazy. One of one. What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco here at the Sherman Oaks Mall. About to go check out a few shoes. We got some releases to check out in this video. If you do like it, make sure you guys hit the like button, of course. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. The subscribe button should be lighting up right now. All you gotta do is hit that button, subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know every time I upload a video. The latest colorway of the AE1 Low, this Vogue Green colorway or light green colorway. I'm not sure how they describe their Vogue Green or Lime Green colorway or whatever. Uh, but they got these here, newly released. $110 in the retail. Let me know your thoughts about these. Yeah, I like this colorway right here on these Nike Dunk Lows. Newer colorway to release inside stores. 
like that wheat colorway with the navy blue. I thought that was black, but I think that's navy blue. Yeah, navy blue? No, that's black. Black with the, okay, I like these. Not bad of these right here, Jordan 1 mids. Let me know if this is a colorway you guys like. I'm not mad at these, definitely giving some fall vibes. More colorways popping up in stores. Hundred or uh, ninety dollars in the retail for these. Not even mad at them at all. You know? Got the box right here for the AE1 low. Let's go ahead and scoop these up. They got these Air Force Ones with that jewel Nike swoosh black, like nubuck or suede upper. Very nice materials on these. Not mad at them at all. Gray on the outsole. Materials are nice, look like this would be comfortable. Let me know if this is something you would consider adding to the collection, man. First time seeing this blue colorway on the Samba is definitely clean for sure. Oh, uh, these are nice. Let me know if you guys like this blue colorway for sure. Not mad at these. Probably like a 9 out of 10. Pretty unique colorway on these campuses right here. I like them. First time seeing these in this color combination right here. I'm not mad at them. Like a newer shoe or is this an older shoe coming back? Not really familiar with this right here. $99 in the retail. They still got these on deck too. I'm not mad at these. Pretty clean. And this is the location that had these uh, Nike Dunk Lows. Definitely a fan of this colorway for sure. Are you guys adding these to your collection? This color combination is very solid for sure. They got these also, which I'm not mad at, man. This is a pretty nice colorway for sure. Definitely a different combination on here. Materials look pretty solid. I rate these from a one to 10, almost like a panda with a, something else in there too. $115 in the retail for these. Retro selection here, decent as always at the Northridge location. Still got diffused blues like most places do. Very nice colorway on these Jordan 11 lows. Jordan 1 low OG shadow still here too. Not many locations are having these. They're starting to run out. Ten and a half in hand. And we still got these Jordan 3s on deck for sure. Let me know your thoughts about these in the comments. Wheat's on deck for 130 as well. Definitely a clean colorway. Jordan 1 low varsity red. 79 bucks. They got the ogres on deck for 130 bucks. Clean on these too. Boom. Got these on deck. I wore mine today. I just didn't do it, but these are these <laughs> making me the same ones, the originals. Yeah. I, so this shoe power is marking down to 110. Most places I'm at like 189 or 149. 110 is actually a great price for this LeBron 21 James. Got Panda Highs on sale for 80 bucks. Definitely a good fit on me for sure. Shoe Palace Northridge got these on Gray School. Um, Gray School sizing already down at 99 bucks. That's actually a good price point for that. So they got these on sale for 89 bucks, $90 on the retail on sale. Gray School sizing. Gray School Jordan 1 Low OG down at $80. That's actually a steal for these two. Look at the markdowns actually here. Jordan 2 for 50 bucks. Then we got the Jordan 9s, powder blue for 99, $50 on the Italy colorway. And we got some more retros marked down too for gray school. Definitely clean right here, man. Let me know your thoughts about this colorway for sure on sale, 89 bucks. And it's my first time seeing this colorway already marked down to 89 bucks on the uh, Pegasus 2K5. Definitely a fire one right here. Still got some more heat over here, KDs, foam pilots. So this finish line got a mark down at 95 bucks already. Definitely a solid colorway on the LeBron Witness 8. Let me know your thoughts about these in the comments below. 95 bucks. Here at the finish line in the Sherman Oaks Mall, I came across these Jordan 1 Miz. Very nice colorway. They got like the, uh, what's that, velvet or something like that? Or is that new buck? Something with this new buck? It's like two materials right there. I don't know, leather on there too. I like the color combination for sure. Let me know your thoughts about these. Definitely clean, for sure. And they got the Batmans here too, with a lot of people going for these, man. 69 bucks on those. Batman Crocs. Definitely dope to see that there. They're into their last sizes, they said, but you can't order more. So one of the things that we scooped up was these Batman Crocs that I do think are fire. I love the detail of them. The red tail lights right there. I think that's a dope little touch. You got the wings on the back. Comes with a giblet with the Batman logo right there. I think that's a really nice situation too. Batman logo on the inside. The 
front of the Batmobile. You have like the hood detailing, the windshield Batman giblet logo right there too. They did a good job. Let me know if you guys scoop these up in the comments below. First time seeing these before. Colorway is nice. Material in here for sure dope. 79 bucks on these. Let me know your thoughts about them. This is here on sale for 89 bucks. Got some other colorways here too as well. My first time seeing the Deadpool rivalry low. 110 on the retail for these. Got Deadpool on the back. These are actually pretty dope. I like the materials used for sure on here. But this is something you can see yourself adding to the collection. Got a new color combination on these Air Force Ones. That's not too bad. Give me a Halloween vibe on these as well. Rate these from a 1 to 10. And is this something that you would consider adding to the collection? Had to catch them. Not too bad though. We got the black white with the gum these are very clean too this is a newer one that's rolled out at 125 very clean color combination on these for sure that obsidian white with the gum very solid as well 125 on these i like this colorway on the air force one let me know if you like them too and of course they got these on deck the kd nerfs definitely a fire colorway and a dope plastic shoe along with the black colorway of the lebron 21 grandma's couch you can never go wrong with these either give me your thoughts about them in the comments below first time i'm seeing this black with the red detailing i'm not mad at these at all what do you think about them rate them from one to ten is this something you can get jiggy with or is this like an easy pass i'm not mad at these though nice colorway and they still got men's sizes here of the pennies but of course not a size 13. Oof, these are so fire man they look so so clean let me know your thoughts about them in the comments below, man. Definitely can't go wrong with these. Man, I got them in smaller sizes too, but those are just so fire, man. Definitely a clean colorway on the 2002R. Black with the gold detail, you can't go wrong with these. Still full retail at 155 actually more than normally. Normally 145 they went up $10 on these. Not mad at those. They also have the New Balance 550 and like this sale black and gold colorway definitely not mad at these at all let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not air force ones nice colorway i've seen these before had no idea what they were standing you know what they meant but they meant 50 years right there is that 50 years with nike and Foot Locker? is that what that is they also got the air max plus here with the same color combination on them as well 50 years representing then the mbo one not a bad colorway now that I understand what's going on here, it makes sense. What do you think about these? Very solid selection as soon as you walk in. A couple of new colorways of the Asics. This colorway is not too bad. Got the pink suede around the trim, pretty dope. I do personally like this colorway right here. I would consider adding this to my collection for sure at the right price. Right now, 130 is still full retail, but this colorway is definitely solid on these Asics. Another colorway of the GT2160 Asics colorway. Definitely a sign. And I'm definitely a fan of these Nike V2K runs. This University Blue colorway is very solid. There's a resale shop, another one, Cream Factory, now here at the Sherman Oaks Mall. This is a colorway of the Air Max LTD that I, you know, I haven't seen these yet. Color combination is not too bad. Black new buck upper red and gray accents let me know if you guys like this color combination now every time i saw these previous to this time they were only in gray school sizing which made me think that they were gray school exclusive here's a men's pair of this jordan spizike colorway is not bad and the long hair suede is definitely pretty dope of course you got the elephant print on there too jordan uh lace lock all the elements you need i'm not mad at these at all so they do have the Oreo colorway of the Luca 3. This colorway is definitely pretty solid. Let me know if you guys like the Luca 3s overall. Pretty cool fit on them. I think they were true to size last time we tried them on. Got this nice color combination on these LeBron Witness, or no, LeBron Next Gen AMPD. You have the velvet upper with the mesh. Got some leather hints on here too. This color combination is dope. Double swoosh always on fire. 169 in the retail for these. ZM, the Braun Next Gen AMPD DT. Different label than you have on the rest of them. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. ZM, the Braun Next Gen AMPD. Then you got, wait, oh, ZM. So they all say that. I mean, for Zoom. Okay. I thought there was something different with these for some reason. Yeah, because they have the DT on the end. The other ones don't have the DT on the end. 
so these these are slightly different I like the detail on them these are clean for sure man let me know if you guys are a fan of them let me take them out the box and see if there's anything different with the two colorways or not shoes together in the box just to see what's going on with them very very clean just want to get them side by side see if there's any difference in the shoes or not i don't think there is they're looking pretty much like they are the same Colorway is nice, not mad at these at all. Give me like Phoenix Sun vibe for sure. Zoom LeBron Next Gen AMPD, followed by the LeBron 21, marked at 40% off at the uh, 120 price point. We definitely found these a little cheaper at the uh, Nike outlet, but these are definitely clean too. I like this colorway for sure. LeBron Witness 8s here, one of the newer colorways, two of the latest colorways to drop. Let me know if you guys are a fan of either one of those. New Balance 574 at $89, $90 for these. Definitely a solid color combination for sure. This one's not bad at all. You got the navy blue, white with the cell accents. Don't believe I've seen this colorway of the Adidas Samba in hand. Like a tan, not mad at these. They got P6000, of course. One of my more favorite colorways to recently drop. This is more of the newer ones, too, here. Got, like, that cream with the navy blue on there. Not mad at these. 110 on the retail. And we definitely seen these before. You guys will have to let me know which one of the P6000 you guys like the most out of these colorways here. Then this one here went crazy. I like this colorway, man. Not bad. At some point, we definitely will add these to the collection. But let me know if you guys are feeling these. Look at the colorway. The materials are definitely solid on these for sure, too. This is a comfortable shoe. And then the other colorways that are here, we've seen it before. Not quite sure about this gray one. This gray tone is pretty solid as well. It's navy blue, Puma suede with the gold accents. Got the gum outsoles. Definitely fire 85 bucks on these. This green one's not too bad either. The green one is not too bad. Got some new style Converse right here, $85 on these. Haven't really seen them before. Definitely want to show you guys some different things here too. Hopefully you guys can appreciate it as sneaker heads or sneaker collectors or sneaker lovers out there. This is not a bad color combination on these too, for sure. $80 on these Converse. Maroon on this Converse All-Star, low, really good suede upper. Maroon, cell, I think maroon and white or maroon, maroon and cell, 79 bucks. This caught my eye, the Nike SB Force. Not a bad situation. The SB Force 58. Let me know your thoughts about these. Retail is $80. This green colorway is not too bad either. Both of these are definitely pretty solid. And they do have a black one as well, so it's like a trio here. They got deals on Reeboks too, man. You buy two for 99 bucks. You can put these together for $99. I think that's a steal. The navy blue and white one's nice. I like this maroon color or burnt orange. What is this, maroon? Two for 99 bucks or one for $59. This colorway is definitely pretty solid for sure too. Materials is definitely on point for either one of these Reeboks. Walked by, saw these vans with the skull right there. I feel like these might be like a collab or something, but I could just be wrong. $85 on the retail. They look pretty decent. Gray School Selection. Got some Jordan mids here that I have yet to see. Let me know if you're feeling this color combination or not. Definitely kind of different. Still full retail for Gray School. Air Flight 89. In a men's pair, this wouldn't be bad. All black with the gray detailing. Gray School though, 110. Bunch of other gray school shoes that we have seen before. And then here's their gray school retro selection, which looks really good. Three, sixes, ones. Can't go wrong with it. Got the nines here too, but just nothing nobody really wants. They even look good in the gray school sizing, man. You know, two of the more recent releases for Jordan 1s. Have yet to see this colorway on the Vapor Maxes here. Vapor Max 21 Fly Knit. Not a bad color combination. I don't know if these vans are only grade school, but I do like the colorway. Materials on here definitely look pretty solid as well. And these are pretty dope because they got the corduroy material on them. It's like a cell. You got the green. Nice colorway on these, and I like the materials. Two nice colorways of the Puma Suede for the ladies. This light blue one and this uh, pinkish colorway. Both of these are definitely nice. And they're on sale for $69 each. Can't go wrong with that. For the ladies, man, the SLOG women's, both of these colorways are definitely pretty impressive in my opinion. Let me know if you guys like either one of them. This blue one is definitely not bad for sure. Materials are solid. Yeah, I like these. 
This colorway is not too bad either for the ladies. $99 for either one of these. Let me know if this is something that speaks to you. And then these Sambas right here, like the silver Samba with the black detailing gum also. First time seeing this color combination on these for sure. So you guys can tell they have two different styles of the P6000 here. These will go for $119 with the uh, lace locks and then the regular lace goes to $110. I'm not mad at those, they should do more like this. I like that idea for the lacing system. Two nice releases for the women. Retro releases, the Air Jordan 6 with the pearls on it, you know, on the laces. We got the first in flight Air Jordan 1. Definitely a nice colorway with some good materials. We got 40% off on the metallic gold Jordan 1 highs. Air Max 90 level 8 here. Nice selection. And they still got these Air Force 1s priced at full retail with the green, kind of like alligator skin on here. Not mad at the 